So basically, this is my canvas board. I think this, and I'm using canvas board, not a canvas. Um, canvas board has a full back. This is actually by the Yes Company, and I got to tell you, I was shocked when I pulled this out. Hello, everyone. This is Leslie. Um, I'm going to be doing a multiple section video. I'll have an abstract in mind that I'm going to do some texture paste on the a section of it for kind of an artistic element. I'm going to press in some texture in it to try to do some resin inlay eventually. Hopefully this works. But I want you to see where I'm starting with. Um, I actually tested a hard molding paste and a light molding paste. I've determined I'm going to use the light molding paste. I just wanted you to see that I'm using the golden light molding paste um, for this project. So we'll get that out of the camera. For my base coat, and I'll be doing a partial swipe with the uh, art pigments mixed in the Vivid Clear. So of course we're going to have our wonderful iridescent look at the end. But I'm going to also base coat with um, some of the cadmium orange and cadmium yellow from Windsor Newton. I'll be using some cadmium red from Liquitex Basics and they have a wonderful white. Um, and Liquitex has a different, their yellow is a little bit different than the um, Windsor Newton, so more than likely I'll be using both. Um, I'm going to be speed painting a lot of this with just music over the top because we want to make this as short as possible. So basically, I'm going to, I have my drawing already down on my canvas. I'll bring it into the shot in the next shot, but I'm going to talk to you about this paste first. Then I'm going to lay down my texture. I've got to let it dry 24 hours, I think. I'll be doing my base coating, my swipe, then the inlay. Okay, we're going to get these out of the shot here so we can get a close-up of the texture piece. I don't really pay, play with it that much. Uh, Marie von der Grossman, a BCMO, A-B-Y-S-I-M-M-O, if you've not heard of her on Facebook and on YouTube, check her out. She does amazing work and she sells her amazing work. But uh, their technique starts with uh, molding paste, clay, um, I did try mixing the toilet paper in one piece. I've never, I don't think I've ever done the, done the video on it, but I wanted to do a figure with the light molding paste in the toilet paper. I did get a really fibery look in the thing. I need to probably go over it with a coat, but that was my only time playing with this. So you guys that are experts, you can laugh at me now. But for people that are brand new, you know, you need to know this stuff. So the, the light felt more spongy. The wet, when I stick my finger and it's really sticky, it's going to feel more like I'm sticking my finger in plaster, which I got to tell you, in some abstract pieces, this is going to be a nice component. As a matter of fact, I might use this in the center where I might do some inlay and then inlay not, I have some metallic components I made with mixing primary elements and future floor polish. It's now called Revive. I'll show you guys in that segment, but I'm probably going to... I like this texture because it reminds me of an old plaster fill in the building, but I don't think I can manipulate it. I only did this with my um, palette knife literally 15 minutes ago, and I am able to go in there with my fingers and you know, keep them moist with a little bit of water, right? And go in there and kind of manipulate and shape this. So that means the ID that I have, because I've already got it shaping out where it's going to kind of look like little bricks and then it drops, looks like it's like part of it broke and fell is kind of what I'm looking for. I know this is a little bit too uniform. I also want to see what it looked like dry and how it received our paint over the top, which one was the more shimmery. Believe it or not, because this is feeling more matte and fibrous -y, I think it's going to soak up our color more. Where this will sit on the surface, it just feels like it's got a higher surface tension. But again, two different looks, which are kind of cool. But I'm going to start with the light, just because I felt like I could manipulate this. I could mold this like I was playing with clay on the surface. 
Anyway, see you guys in the next segment when I'm laying the texture paste down on my drawn canvas. Be right back. A couple days ago, I couldn't believe how sturdy it was. It doesn't work like the other cheaper canvas boards. And because I want to do a texture paste, because I was going to do some brush painting, do a little resin in here, what we're hoping for, to uh, pour some resin in the forms I'm creating with the texture paste. I wanted, I didn't want it to have canvas in the middle that could sag. And yet, since it's the first time trying this process, <laughs> didn't really want to commit to expensive cradle board because really I'd be doing this on piece. And yet, if this turns out pretty, and I've asked somebody who's actually asked me to do this, and if they like it, they want me to make one for them, which I'm happy to do and sell these. But uh, they may want them on cradle board. Uh, I'm sure this is easily mounted, but I like the fact that the whole back is solid. So here's my shape. I just kind of drew this out with a pencil, some kind of, you know, a section of brick, and maybe it broke. Um, we'll see in an area here for some different color inlay, and then. The uh, pattern sort of picks up here, but in different shapes and sizes. I'm going to try to form this with the golden light molding paste that I have here in my bucket. Golden light molding paste. Then I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to put music on in the background. I'm going to speed this up. You may see me turn it because it's going to be easier to get to the camera and possibly work on different sections here that I'm interested in, you know, sectioning out because I want to be able to put something different in each one of these sections. We hope this, this experiment works. Um, I'll be back during the break to talk to you. But for right now, I hope you enjoy the music and enjoy watching me do this. And again, I'll be speeding this sucker up. So. See you soon.